Let your breathing be soft, full, and easy. No effort. Notice each inhalation as it enters the body and each exhalation as it exits the body. Was I a little bit nervous about coming to Scott County Jail? Uh, yes, I was. My whole um, idea of what a jail was like was from television, and uh, that made me nervous, and I found out that it's not the way it is on television. <laughs> the reason I ended up getting involved was I had done some specialized yoga training, particularly with individuals in trauma, particularly with post-traumatic stress, and issues and um, it turned out that this was a good place to use those skills. All right, let's inhale lifting up both of our arms to shoulder height and then to put the frosting on the cake you turn and look toward the library. Warrior two. I try to focus a lot on how are you feeling inside and being able to sort of accept where you're at and um, being okay with where you're at and, and just cheering them on when, when they do something that is really quite exceptional. And I find them to be just really a good group. The yoga program was developed um, late 2012, early 2013. Um, it was initially researched and recommended by Mary Beth Wood, our uh, medical supervisor. The program is ran through volunteers' efforts, so we're able to run the program without any kind of incurred cost or ongoing cost um, besides the initial startup cost. The jail is a direct supervision jail, um, behavior-based, which means we don't restrict an inmate based on their crimes of where we house them. Um, some of the charges we see on the inmates that attend the programs pretty much are the wide spectrum of charges, everything from public intox up to your more, you know, serious felonies. As long as they're being cooperative and following the rules within the jail, they're allowed to move their way up to general population. Uh, right now, general population um, is the only classification of inmates that are allowed to attend the program. Um, Overall, the gender participation is about 10 to 15 males per week. Um, females is slightly lower, so four to eight, um, typically smaller class sizes for them. Um, we really appreciate Mary Beth and, and Joan doing the program. I know the inmates really enjoy it, and it gives them a, a, an ability to relax and have, have an ability to calm down within the jail. Uh, cuts down on anxiety and stress. I think I take quite a bit of clarity back with me away from my yoga class. Um, it's something that helps just kind of clear my mind after I've had a rough day or a rough week. Um, I actually feel like um, my spirit is lifted. Um, I feel um, a lot of stress relief. My body feels very stale and stiff and tired. Um, and sluggish and getting into yoga um, I get to stretch and release and get some of my energy out. It helps with my with my pains, my joints and it is clarity for, for me because there is a lot of chatter in the dorms so that's why I keep coming back. There's some really good teaching values that come out of yoga. There's a way to look at the world. Um, I've noticed some have really changed from being sort of uh, moved from being pretty skeptical and suspicious about anybody who, you know, reaches out in kindness to actually being able to accept it and maybe start thinking about modeling it themselves. So I see growth.
And at the end of the yoga classes here, I say a word to you. If you want, you can say it back to me. The word is namaste, which means I honor you. If you want, you can say it back to me. You don't have to. Namaste. Namaste. Well done, people. Super.